Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite, and this is a device that does indeed have the Google Lock enabled, because as we can see here, as we're going through the initial setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was factory reset, and to continue, we have to either type in the previous security screen lock pin that was used, or if we tap on Use My Google Account instead, it gives us that second option to sign in to the Google account that was previously used on the device. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovered it was locked, and obviously they weren't going to have the previous login info for whoever used the device last. And in those cases, the seller has usually long since disappeared, since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login info. The process is something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So, as you can see very clearly, the device was on the Google Lock screen, and then I just powered it off and then plugged it into our computer program here that takes care of that lock for us. Now, after the device fully restarts, we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the initial setup steps without running into that Google Lock. This device just happens to be originally from Metro by T-Mobile, which is a prepaid carrier here in the US that runs on T-Mobile's network, but this should work for any device that has the same model number, no matter which carrier it's originally from. And we'll show you that info once we get to the end. All right, so now that it's fully rebooted and we're at the welcome screen, we can go ahead and hit start and begin going through everything step by step. After that, the first step is to agree to all of Samsung's terms and conditions. So we do that and then hit next. Then it's gonna ask us about connecting to Wi-Fi, which we actually don't need. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn that off and then hit skip. And we don't need to copy any apps or data. We're just gonna skip through all of these steps to get through as fast as possible to show you that the lock is indeed removed. So next comes the Google services. We don't need a screen lock at this time. And we don't need any other apps, but I guess that doesn't matter. We'll just hit next. We do not need a Samsung account, so we'll be skipping that step also. Okay, there we go. It says we are all set up. So then when we tap the finish button, we should be able to see here that we get the home screen loading up, that we get full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. So we've gotten all the way through those initial setup steps. We didn't see the Google lock at all, so it is now ready to use just as a brand new device. You can add any Google account to it. You can create a new one if you want. So all traces of the previous user have now been removed. 
So just to show exactly what we are working with here, under the About Tablet section, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy Tab A7 Lite, and then that model number there, the SMT, if my focus would cooperate, it's a T227U. So that is the model number of all of the carrier versions of the Galaxy Tab A7 Lite here in the US. The carrier versions being the ones that also have a SIM card slot so that you can use them with a mobile tablet plan if you want while you're away from Wi-Fi. So if you have one of these Tab A7 Lights that has the Google Lock enabled, we would love to help you out with getting that removed. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.